so welcome back to the part 2 of our platformer series so today we will add the animations to our character idle animation and run animation and also see how to flip the sprite so let's start so first thing add the delay here it will be of 2 seconds okay so this is our script for our character so let's first uh, see how to add the animations so we need the two more windows here go to the window under the animation here is the animation tab drag this one here and one another window we need is animator drag this one to here so select your sprite this one and let's create the animation here click on create so we need to create one folder for our, all our animations click on new folder animations can name it idle first and then we will create the run animation so here we have got it some values here is the sample rate turn it on from here these three dots and here is the option for show sample rate and also click on the frames here so let's add our idle animation so select our sprite under the sprite renderer let's first here we have the animations right okay so click on this red icon record i think enable disable keyframe recording mode okay so click on here and again click on the one okay need to click on the two click on to and then again click on one so it will add the an keyframe to our frame one this one and then we need the another frames here from 2 to 10 so just click on 2 and hold down the shift and click on 10 and then just drag and drop the keyframes here alt mouse scroll wheel to zoom in alt plus scroll wheel okay and then place it here and stop the recording button click on play here you can see the animation is playing but it is too fast so to slow it down we just need to reduce the sample rate here let's make it 30 Okay, this is also fast. Okay, we have thirty. Okay, this is. Okay, let's reduce more. Let's make it twenty-two. Okay, this is looking good. You can play with this one. Okay, now. our idle animation is ready so let's create one another animation that will be run animation so click on here idle and here is the create new clip option and let's create the run animation now click on save then again do the same process for it click on your character sprite here start the recording mode click on this little icon and select the run animation okay it will add the keyframe here so we need the from 2 to 10 click on 2 hold down shift and press on 10 and just drag them here alt mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and let's move them to here okay, and let's change the sample rate 
stop the recording mode and then change the sample rate and let's play the animation so it's fast so let's make it 20 okay this looks good let's go with 18 okay this is also looking fast you can play with this one as you feels comfortable for you so that this looks good okay now we have added our two animations here so under the animator tab here so here we get some states this is our idle animation this is our entry state so after the entry it will start the idle animation so we want our run animation to play also so we need to connect these two from idle it will go to the run state and from run state it will also it will also come to the idle state so right click here and make transition it you will get this connection line connect it here right click here make transition and connect it here so you will get the two connections here so first of all we need to create the parameters here is the layer option and side to it here is the parameters click on plus and click on bool and name it running so it will state that the character is running or not we will need this one into our graph so we have created this another thing to do is click on this arrow first right one right this will go to the idle to run state so here are some options so we do not want the exit time we do not want the transition also so for it go to the settings and change the transition to zero okay and here is the conditions click on plus here you will get the parameter we define here so make it true so it will go from idle to the run and for this we will need the false value so but we need to again do the same thing remove the exit time remove the transition and under the conditions click on plus and this time it will be false so this is what we need okay let's jump into our script graph now so here is what we have created for our player moment now we will add the animation here so we need the if condition first and we will set the animation here so for the animation node is the set bool because we have set it the bool there so here is the animator set bool click on here here is the name value and the object need to define so we have created our sprite ref here okay i think we have created okay let's create one here click on we need the new variable which will be our sprite click on plus and this will be our game object which will be this one our character sprite okay get it here and connect it to here okay and here is the parameter name we need to define so it will be running so here is the click mark so if this is clicked it means it will play the animation if it is off it will not play the animation so we need to define the condition here first so condition will be we will get the get axis raw first and the name will be horizontal okay
this axis is name is defined from here input manager input manager and horizontal okay and here are the buttons also okay so the condition will be if this axis is less than or greater than 0 it will be the running state okay as we press the key it will be plus 1 or minus 1 so if it is not equal to 0 our character will be in the running state click on here also so let's add the not equal not equal to 0 okay this is the condition if our axis is not equal to 0 it will be our character will be in the running state so if this condition is false our character will be not in the running state so we will create that one also just duplicate this one and this time remove the click so our character will be not in the running state if it is the value will be 0 ok we need to connect this one also here so this is for the animation if our axis is not equal to 0 our character will be in running state and if it is equal to 0 the condition is false it will be not in the running state so it will be in the idle state right so let's play okay our character is running so we need to flip our sprite as we play press the left key left arrow so let's do that one so for that we need the set flip right click add node set flip set flip x so let's add it so here we need to define the object so we have created the variable already so let's connect it to here and here will be the condition and this one will connect to here and for the condition the condition will be the simple one let's duplicate this one first if this horizontal axis is uh, into the negative it will flip our character sprite so it will be less than 0 ok so into the negative so the condition will be less than ok less and connect it to the float 0 and connect the condition here so this is the condition if this condition gets true our character will flip so let's play now okay this is working and this is for today we will add the jump animation into the next video so till then take care and goodbye